So first off, congratulations. We made it to a brand new year. Just wanna say thank you real quick, okay? I don't feel like I say it enough, but I do appreciate all the support and all the suggestions. Like this one from Charlie Barkley over on Twitter, if not following. Do it! Now he wanted me to go find all the oldest players, put them in a retirement home. <laughs> now I'm only kidding, obviously. He wanted me to see what their highest overall was in any Madden they've ever been in, and then put them all on the same team. So let's just say it turned out pretty well. Now I know a lot of you guys play Mutt, and sometimes you don't feel like grinding to get the best team. So if you wanna just buy some training or coins or players, head on over to muttreserve.com. Use my code CK, and not only will you be rich one day, but you'll also get 15% off your order. Now you already knew that at quarterback, it was going to be Tom Brady, man. He is a 99 overall in plenty of Maddens, most recently in Madden 19. So that's where we have him. The oldest running back in the league is Frank Gore, man. We got to get him off the Jets. Let's be honest. I have no problem with the Jets. But Frank Gordon needs a ring. He needs to go to like the Chiefs or, or, or a strong contender, man. We need to get this man a chance at a ring at least. He's 37 and his highest overall Madden rating ever at launch was in Madden 25 when he was a 93. Speaking of Madden 25, that is when Adrian Peterson, who's actually the second oldest running back in the league, was a 99 overall. The oldest fullback in the league is Anthony Sherman. He was a 95 overall in Madden 16. The oldest wide receiver in the league is Larry Legend. He was a 99 overall back in Madden 10. Edelman is either the second or third oldest wide receiver. His highest overall ever was 89 overall in Madden 20. Amendola is either the second or third oldest. His highest overall at launch was in Madden 19 when he was an 85. Djax is either fourth or fifth oldest in the league and he's still very fast. It's crazy how fast he still is. But his highest overall was 91 back in Madden 12. Emmanuel Sanders won the older wide receivers in the league. His highest launch rating was an 89 overall back in Madden 18. Jason Witten already retired once, so it's no surprise that he's the oldest tight end in the league. But we got him back in his prime, okay? We kept his age the same, because I mean, what was the point of having old guys if they're not old? But his overall is now a 97, which is what he was back in Madden 11. Mercedes Lewis is the second oldest tight end in the league. He was a 90 overall back in Madden 12. Whitworth is the oldest left tackle in the league. He was a 95 in Madden 16. Incognito is the oldest left guard and he actually had his highest launch rate in this year, Madden 21. Alex Mack is the oldest center. He was a 92 back in Madden 15. I don't know what to tell you. They got Jason Peters listed as a right guard. This is the finesse of the century. You know what I'm saying? He, he's gonna be our right guard. He's the oldest at that position and he was a 96 back in Madden 16. And then DeMar Dotson. This was actually really close. He's only two weeks older than Ty Seki. So yeah, he's gonna be our starting right tag. He was an 88 overall in Madden 20. We're gonna begin the defense with another close call. Ryan Kerrigan was actually the third oldest left end in the league. Vinny Curry was slightly older than him. His highest overall ever was 81 in Madden 16. Then BG, first time pro bowler this year, was slightly older as well. He was a 95 back in Madden 18. Calais was the oldest right end in the league and his highest overall ever was 96 in Madden 15. Sue was born a little bit before Marcus Hunt. So he's gonna be our number two, or actually our number one right end if you go by overall. But yeah, he was a 97 in Madden 15. Oldest D tackle in the league was Damato Pecco Sr. He was an 86 back in Madden 11. And then Steve McClendon, second oldest, was an 84 in Madden 16. Sean Lee, it feels like he's been playing forever and he's had some amazing ratings man he was a 96 in mad 19 thomas davis said he's gonna retire at the end of the season man so it was no surprise that he's the oldest right outside linebacker he was an 87 back Madden 11. I'm surprised he was never in the 90s. Demario's highest overall ever is right now. Even though he's the second oldest MLB. Now on to the cornerback. Tremont Williams is the oldest one at this position in the league. His highest overall is a 92 back in Madden 12. Jonathan Joseph is the second oldest cornerback. He was a 94 man 13. So you know if one McCourty brother is here, chances are the other one's gonna be here too. Third oldest cornerback in the league. His highest overall ever was 89 in Madden 15. Sherman, it didn't take too long to find his overall. He was part of 99 club in Madden 15. Jimmy Smith back in Madden 19 was an 89 overall. And then people forget, man, Josh Norman used to be a problem. He was a 94 back in Madden 17. And I told you the other McCourty brother would be here. He was a 94 back in Madden 16. He's the oldest free safety. The oldest strong safety is on the Patriots as well. Patrick Chung's highest overall is 88 
back in Madden 16. And then Robbie Gold's the oldest kicker in the league. He was a 95 back in Madden 13. And then you wanna know how close it was at punter? Andy Lee is only two days older than Sam from the Ravens. We are down to 70% of people watching the videos not being subscribed. That is huge. We dropped 5%, man. You guys are amazing. Let's keep lowering it. Let's get in the 60s, man. Subscribe if you haven't already. Woo wee, eight and oh, cooking. They don't even need me, man. Let's just go to the playoffs. We end up losing two games on the season. First in offensive yards. First in defensive yards. He threw more touchdowns than he has years on his earth. Only six interceptions, 70% completion, bro. If you didn't want MVP, I would delete my channel. Okay, that's how confident I am. Look at Adrian, 1,500 yards, 12 touchdowns, 14 for Frank Gore. Unbelievable. Bro, there's no way we don't win the chip. I mean, 17 yeah. receiving touchdowns for Larry Legend. Holy crap. Look at D-Jags, Emmanuel Sands. Everyone got a touch. And that was just offense. Thomas Davis led us in tackling. I always thought he was slightly underrated. Like I said, he's never been in the 90s. That's insane to me, man. A lot of guys with double digits, tackles for loss, and sacks. 13 for Sue, he led the team. Graham and Sean Lee were right behind him. Interceptions, you had three of them go to Jonathan Joseph. Sherman had two, along with McCourty and Norman. And like I said, Brady wins MVP. Not too surprising right there. Coach of the year didn't go to Arian somehow, so we might have some competition. Brady wins OPOY. DPOY goes to Ruben Foster. Best running back, Adrian. All day, Peterson. Gore got in the top 10. You love to see it. Best wide receiver. Larry Legend, best lineman. Holy crap. Hey, we almost, we almost had a clean sweep right there, man. Sue and Graham both in the top 10 for best D lineman. Then we have Sean Lee at number five for best linebacker. Brady gets in the top six in our record books for passing touchdowns in a season. And look at Fitz, he's tied for the fourth most receiving touchdowns in a season in NFL history, man. He deserves a ring. Let's go get this man his Lombardi. We had our first round by now we have to play against the seven seed San Francisco 49ers. They upset the Seahawks. We didn't already know all Madden simulation. So it's not gonna be easy. Look at how they pressing D-Jax, bro. Just cause he's old does not mean he doesn't have burners. Just so disrespectful. Like it's crazy. Okay, maybe. Oh, yeah, what I say? What did I say? Are you gonna score without having to run the ball? That would be amazing. That would be a great start to this game. Oh God, I'm taking off of Brady. Who said we not running the ball? Oh yeah, Adrian. That's what I like to see. We're down inside the five. Uh oh, Brady in the zone, but we're actually gonna run the ball first and go right up the gut. Adrian carrying folks into the end zone. So Brady's X Factor highlights the first open target and ignores pressure. I got a pass in that case, you feel me? First down and 10, who is it? They not highlighting, it don't matter. We going deep, D Jax once again, he's nasty. Oh, look at try. what a route right there. What a freaking route, Emmanuel. Like I expected, man, we come away with the W. Headed to the conference championship game, Brady actually threw two interceptions, but the run game was cooking. At least Adrian was, man. Hopefully Gordon get going. D Jax was carrying, and we might be able to get Fitz his first Super Bowl trophy. So we beat the Bears in the championship round, and we went on to play the Chiefs, and we won. The old heads came together and got it done man you love to see it it's like 90 percent of the time the chiefs are in the super bowl in these simulations but somehow we were able to beat them and the funniest part is the team is damn near the same but the overall has gone down drastically i think half the team retired Ooh.